Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me for another digital art lesson. If this is your first time tuning in, my name is Benjamin Dumas and I am one of the art teachers at Clarendon Elementary in San Francisco. And this week we'll be talking about maps. That's why I have so many maps around me here. My students have had so much fun creating their own imaginative maps in class this week. So first, let's talk about some of the materials that you might need for today's map project. Okay, everyone. So for today, we're going to need two pieces of paper. One of the pieces of paper is going to be our map. And the other piece of paper is what we're going to use to make our water, which I'll show us how to do in just a minute. So we're going to need two pieces of paper. You're going to need glue or a glue stick to glue your water down onto your paper. And then you're also going to need a pencil to sketch out all the things that you want on your map. Your castles, your animals, your little cities and towns, your mountains. You're going to sketch them out in pencil first. And then you can use whatever you would like to add color. Whether you have markers or colored pencils or crayons. Whatever you would like to use to add color to your maps today. All right, let's talk about maps for just a moment before we get started on today's lesson. So really quick, before we get started making our own map, I wanted to show you this book that I have because it might give you some inspiration while you are doing your maps today. So I love maps that have little illustrations or pictures to help teach us where things are. And I've always loved these ever since I was a kid. And I wanted to share this book with you all. In this case, it's showing us where things are in the United States. Take a walk over here to our neck of the woods in San Francisco and they chose to represent San Francisco by putting the Golden Gate Bridge which is a very good landmark in San Francisco right so going up north you have these giant sequoias and some great vines which you have maybe seen once you go across the Golden Gate Bridge and look at all of these different not just in San Francisco but all over the United States they have illustrations to teach us where certain things are maybe where some people are from. They have Louis Armstrong, the jazz trumpet legend. We've talked about him, right, in New Orleans. So this might give you some inspiration, some ideas when you're creating your own maps today. If you wanna draw little pictures of animals or trees or other landmarks that you would like to create, maybe castles or things, it is entirely up to you. So let's get started on making our own imaginative maps. So the first thing that we're gonna start with on our maps today is creating our water. So that's why I said we needed two pieces of paper. One of them I've already started coloring blue. I have chose a nice blue that I'm going to use for my water. And what's fun about making your own colored paper at home is when you go to the store, you have less options, right? You get one flat colored blue. This one definitely has more texture, right? It looks more like water too. And you can choose whatever color blues that you would like and whatever color blues that you have, right? If you want to make your water look more greenish blue, or if you're doing the Red Sea and you wanna put a little bit of red in there, it's entirely up to you, right? So we have more options when we're making our own colors. So then I'm going to start ripping and there's no wrong way to do this. There's no wrong way to do anything in art. I'm going to go ahead and start ripping my paper here and I'm going to make it look like water. So I'm just going to rip it any old way and then I'm going to glue it onto my other piece of paper. And you can already see this is going to be where my water meets my land, right? And this is kind of going to be my coastline here. All right, so after you've glued your water down onto your map, this is the fun part. You get to come up with whatever you would like to put on your land. If you wanna put a jungle or a desert, swamps or marshes, you could put a forest. And I love doing little rivers and creeks and streams that run through the forest or through your map. It's always a fun little landmark that you can do. So remember, you can put animals, you can put cities, you could put little towns. And then the other fun part, almost just as fun as creating all of these landmarks, is what to name them, right? So you can come up with whatever name you would like for your landmarks. And there's just so many funny names of actual places in the real world, 
like Hot Coffee Mississippi or Worms Nebraska or Hippo Kentucky or Strawberry California, which actually sounds kind of tasty, right? That sounds like a very fun place to visit. There's also a Cool California and a Volcano California. So there's lots of fun names out there of real places that actually exist. So after you draw all of your different landmarks, then you can come up, the fun part is what to name them, right? So I hope you all have fun with your imaginative maps. There's no wrong way to do them today. I can't wait to see what you all come up with and I'll see you next week.